Happy Sunday, everyone. It is Gina with Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. And I just came on to say hello. I wanted, Kellyanne wanted to say hi. And I just wanted to talk about the amazing artwork of these dolls that are in our community. Um, you know, Kellyanne is not a one of a kind. She's not a um, hand, hand painted, I think, individual sculpt. These were a manufactured dolls made by Kinvey and um, she was the Caitlin sculpt. That was her name was Caitlin, but I named her Kelly Ann, which I've told you before. But, you know, it still amazes me. I almost wish somehow we could see each other's dolls in person. And the reason I say this is because even though she's a manufactured doll, there's the blushing on her face. Um, you know, her, her little nose, the way her hair, it's a molded hair, but... It's there. The eyes. I mean, when I look into them, you can see like different shades of like kind of a blue and a gray. Um, just the details on their hands. I mean, and there's a little bit of veining, but I know I know the camera won't pick it up. But there's some veining and there's the dimpling across the knuckles and the little tiny lines in the fingers and the little wrinkles just on her arm itself and then down on her her legs and her feet. I mean, well, I don't know if her feet have, yeah, even her little feet. I mean, there's little wrinkles. And this is just a manufactured doll. Now, granted, it was done by, oh, see, mommy was just really flipping your dress up, wasn't she, sweet girl? Granted, this was done by um, Bountiful Baby, so the sculpt, was done very well, but still, I mean, she's really a manufactured doll and yet there's so much detailing. And you know, would I, would I be fooled by her if I saw, saw her out somewhere? I, I wouldn't, I would, I would think, oh, you know, what a cute, realistic looking baby doll. But the point is she's cute and she has detailing that some play dolls and that don't have. Not that I don't like them, <laughs> just that they don't have. And then we have our authentic reborns and they do look very real and they can look very real. And it amazes me the way the artists paint them that vinyl or silicone can look so lifelike. Um, I think I've seen one or two open-eyed babies that I thought, wow, that's that that could be a real baby. Um, and but most of the time, I do find that like if I were out somewhere, I think I would probably think that a sleeping doll was a real baby, especially from those people who are fortunate enough to collect a prototype or to get the expensive silicone dolls and that. Um, but I just like the joy of, of sharing and, and collecting our dolls. And I like, I like that realism. And I'm also finding that part of the realism can be in the way we dress them. Um, I can take or I have seen on other channels a doll that's more of a like a vintage doll and you can tell it's just a doll it's a baby doll but when they dress them up it makes them look more realistic and it's the way the clothes are layered and it's the way the you know the outfit and the way they pose the baby and sometimes the um background where they're displaying the baby and I just think that is so neat and it's such a fun thing in our hobby 
Um, and I look at my own dolls that I have, both manufactured and um, authentic reborns. I do not have any silicones. But when I say reborn, I kind of, it's all inclusive. I include the silicone babies in with reborns, although I know it's actually a different medium. I understand that. But it's just, it's fun. It's fun. And um, I really want to try to find more vintage clothes. I think the hardest time I'm going to have in finding, like, vintage clothes is going to be for my little preemies. And I do have one, two, three, I think four, two girls and two boys. Because I have Kelly Ann, and I have Stephanie, and I have... Sterling Alexander and I have Logan Robert. So I have two little girls and two little boys that are preemie. Um, so I am looking forward to maybe in 2024, 2025, maybe going to some doll shows. I know I can't do it this year, but that's okay. This gives me stuff to play in for for the future and things to look forward to later down the line. And, um, but I think if I go there, I think I might find some really, well, first it would just be fun. It would just be, because I've never been to the adult show. So I just think that going somewhere where there's other people that would be like-minded and enjoy the same hobby that I do would be a lot of fun. And then finding the clothes. And I have dolls in various sizes and I'm enjoying that quite a bit too um so anyway I just just wanted to pop on and say happy Sunday and tell everyone oh a quick 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 update I did attend um my client's funeral I did go to Dottie's funeral and it was it was just an incredible service it was beautiful um the family had a nice reception after um I got to meet a lot of cousins and a lot of the names that I had heard through the three years. Some of them had come to the house and visited while I was there, so I recognized them. But others, I'd heard their names, but I did, had never met them in person. So that was kind of fun for me. And um, but anyway, and and you know, her while there was some sadness, there was laughter. So that's good because we really tried to. They really, her family really wanted to celebrate her life. So that, that was nice. That was very nice. And, uh, anyhow, I got, was able to get to that, but thanks to my father letting me borrow his car. And then my car was fixed. It was the alternator, unfortunately, which is quite expensive. So anyway, but that's not going to stop the fact that in, let's see. I guess about two weeks from now, at this time, I'll be in the Caribbean sipping a drink with an umbrella. And it might just be mango juice and, I don't know, pineapple juice or something mixed together. I have no idea. But one of those little fun umbrella drinks. So that'll be fun. And um, seeing all the different gorgeous colors of waters and the beaches and anyway I'm looking forward to going I will be leaving in just about two weeks so yeah in fact uh well today's Sunday so actually yeah it, uh I'll be in Florida in two weeks today because I'm going to visit my son a little first then the cruise leaves so um, I guess actually Monday it, I'll be on the ocean in about two weeks. So anyway, it'll be fun. Looking forward to that. I've kept you all long enough with my nonsense. I just wanted to come on. Kellyanne wanted to say hello to all her aunts and uncles. My aunties. My uncles. And she said, and I want to say hi to Kay and Louisa over at our chairs cherubs because I have my monkey with me and my monkey is my favorite toy. 
and mommy is really busy tomorrow so we probably won't be able to do cheeky monkey monday but we just thought we'd come on early today and say hi so anyway everyone have a blessed day remember no matter what you're going through that god loves you and he's always here for us and life is a blessing take care guys bye bye